Good, right, we're recording. This is um, uh, the, the trigonometry one. It's quite funny, he's so close to the screen that he goes really cross-eyed behind it. Like, <laughs> quite often put when he's stood here. Sorry, I didn't. Right. Um, the triangle, ABC. Uh, AB is 9, AC is 17, and the angle BAC is 40. Find the length BC. Well, hang on, we've got uh, a side. We've got the angle opposite it, and we've got the two sides adjacent to that angle. This is, this is kind of a classic cosine rule question, isn't it? Uh, it's straight away, we should be straight in there. BC, we could label that on our diagram. That would be little a, wouldn't it, if we were using the, the standard convention? And that would be A squared, or BC squared, is uh, 9 squared, plus 17 squared, minus twice 9, 17, cos 14. And that's all we need. We're going to put that into the calculator, of which I still have Elliot's. Oh, I forgot about that. Ah, uh, well. Um, you get it back when you give me back that phantom. Oh, no, hang on, that's the wrong way around. Uh, if you work that out, you get A squared <coughs> is 135.59, two, uh, two decimal places, but... Um, there's one point here that's worth bringing out that we need to be careful of. It's, it's really easy, especially in trigonometry questions, to introduce rounding errors. Because you can be dealing with, with long decimal figures here. Um, that's what we're going to take the square root of. We're not going to type that back into the calculator. We're going to keep it on the screen and use the answer in the, in the calculator screen to do it. So we're going to do the square root of that. A is the square root of our answer which is 11.6. Uh, didn't say what we wanted it, but that is to three significant figures. Now, I, I'm not sure at the moment. I suspect I'm going to need this again, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to store that in the memory of the calculator so that I've got that exact value. And we do that. Uh, this is the, uh, the 991ES plus, but it's the same method on all of the, kind of the standard Casio ones. It would be shift and RCL, and then you pick one of the, the pink or red letters, and I'm going to store it in memory A, because we've called it side A, and there it is, you say, it says answer, and then a little arrow to A, and I've stored that in that memory. Now that means, if I use alpha A, if I use the memory A, in a further calculation, it's not going to use this rounded figure, it's going to use the full version of this, 11.6442911. How do you get it back? You just do alpha A, and there it is. Okay? Now, part two. Wants us to find... Part two wants us to find the area of the triangle. If anybody... If anybody wants me to show you that again later on, I will do. Let's, let's go on with this now, Adam. Um, the area of the triangle ABC. Well, um, actually, again, we don't we don't need A straight away. This is we've just said our formula for the area of a triangle is if we've got an angle and the two sides adjacent to it, then that's all we need. So the area of the triangle is going to be a half. And then the two sides that are adjacent to the angle, so 9 times 17, times the sine of the angle between them. So a half times 9 times 17 times sine 40. If we do that in the calculator, of course we're making sure uh, that our calculator is in degrees mode because we're using sine of a, a degrees figure. We get 49.2 centimetre squared. Again, I've done that to three significant figures. I don't think I'm going to need that again, but I'll, I'll just store it just in case. And, and there it is. Part three. Um, what's this asking us for? D. Now, D is the point on the line AC so that the angle BDA is 63 degrees. So hang on, D is a point somewhere along the line AC and the angle from B to D to A is 63 degrees. So it looks to me 
like we've got something like that going on, where there is an angle of 63 degrees, and there is the point D somewhere on the line AC. Okay, it's important, I, you, you, uh, you may want to make a copy of the, the diagram, it's important to, to get a diagram to get a feel for what's going on here. Find the length of BD. Okay, well, well what have we got here? We've now got a smaller triangle, haven't we? If we just look at this triangle that we've got now, we've got a smaller triangle in which we have two of the angles and one of the sides, and we need to find the other side. So that, that says sine rule. And we actually know the right ones to go straight into doing the sine rule. We want to know that side there, BD, is opposite to the angle 40 degrees. We've got the side AB, which is opposite to 63 degrees, and so we've got all we need. We're going to say that um, BD over sine 40. Oops. BD over sine 40 is the same as, what were the other two bits? 9 over sine 63. Rearrange it. And that's what we need to calculate. 9 sine 40 over sine 63. And we get 6.49 centimetres. Um, does that feel reasonable? Yeah, it probably does, doesn't it? Um, we had a uh, BC as being 11.6, so that, that's, that feels fine. All right.